to project 23 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this simple calculator by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if we provide like two and two and if we hit there so it will now gives us the result of four because we selected or plus sign right here and if we just uh, select or minus sign right here and if we click on it so now it will give us zero and if we just uh, divide there so it will now gives us one and if we duplicate there like time symbol and if we submit there so it will now gives us four Okay, so this is what we are going to be building in this video by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. So in this video, we are going to be just building a simple calculator. But in the upcoming videos, we are going to be building a little bit complex calculator than this one. So this is just a practice. So we are going to be just writing like 023. So we have to give a name of like simple calculator. Okay, inside this simple calculator folder, we have to create three files like index.html and then style.css uh, and then app.js. Okay, so now we are in. So now let's write our HTML code right here. So I'll just write a doc type HTML and simple calculator and then link it with CSS and also with JavaScript as well. Okay, so then I'm gonna just hide my metas from there right click on it and open it with a live server okay so for html we are going to be just writing a div with the class of main and inside this div we are going to be writing our inputs container it will be just a container for our inputs and then we are going to be writing h1 with the class of result and it will just say like result and then we will have our select option with the id not section but select option with, uh, I'll just remove this name from there and the ID will be just select up and or whatever inside this select option we will have a few option like like option one will hold the value of like plus now let's duplicate a few times so I'll just write a min for minus and then I'll write like a div for divide division and then mult for multiplication so I'll just uh, put their symbols like addition subtraction division and multiplication okay underneath the select section we are going to be writing our input with the type of just number we have to give them a class of num1 and also we have to give them a placeholder of um placeholder of number one and duplicate this will be number two and this one will be num2 and both of them will be a numbers so underneath this div we are going to be writing our own div which will be like a submit button container okay inside this submit button container we are going to be just placing our button right here and we will just give an idea of like button okay and as a text i'll just write a submit server file and this is how it looks like currently right now okay so the next thing i will just jump right into a javascript and we will just take care of a style sheet just in a second but once we are done with the javascript so the first thing i would need is to just grab my button which is where are you this button so i'll just um, select like document dot um get element by id and i'll select my button and then i'll put an add event listener to it and once we click on this button so you want to fire this function right here zoom in a bit so inside this function we are going to be just writing like let number one it will be now equal to document dot query selector of that number one okay and we have to just put a value of it and duplicate it a few times and this one will be num2 and num2 right here and then we have a let result and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of result Okay, so now we get this, uh, where are you? So now we get this num1 and num2 and now we are getting this result right now, okay? So because we are going to be rendering the value of these two to this result. So now let's get our operator. So I'll just write let and it will be now equals to document dot get element by id and now you'll get like select op for option and now we will get our value from it and now we will just switch and then we have to just use our operator right there and then we have to just use like case and then here if this case is plus and then we have to just print like result.inner html it will be now equals to the number like we are going to be using a constructor number and it will be now equals to num plus number okay so like a number constructor and then we are going to be using num2 
severed and then we have to just break out from this loop so you just use a break and then we have another case which will just say like min like if there's a minus so we want to just print like result dot uh, inner html will be now equals to number constructor and num1 and then minus number constructor and then num2 okay uh number i guess i must spell it okay it's correct so now let's break out from this loop as well and then we have another case which will be for div like division and then we are going to be just writing like result and it will be now equals to the inner html will be now equals to number constructor num1 and then division operator and then number uh and then num2 and then just break out from this loop and finally we have the last case which will be multi so for multiplication and then we're going to be writing like result dot inner html it will be now equals to uppercase number like a constructor number and it will be now equal to num and now let's hit a times operator and then number and num two okay so now we are good to go so once we save our file and everything is looking cool so now let's just write like i don't know if i just put two and two and if we submit so here you can see it will now gives us four and now let's change the operator to like minus like if we minus like two from two it will give us zero and now let's uh, divide it so it will now give us one and then finally now let's just multiply it and save it so it will now give us i mean like hit the submit button and save it and then it will give us four right here so everything is looking cool all right so now let's check it one more time so i'll just check like 10 and 10 so starting from the first one which is a plus so if i hit plus so 10 and 10 will give us 20 and then 10 minus 10 will give us 0 10 divided by 10 will give us 1 and 10 times 10 will give us 100 so everything is working the way we expect them to work so now let's jump right into the styling and now let's style it a bit all right so the starting from the first thing which we have to just do is to just select our body zoom in a bit and then height will be 100 bh and then we are going to be just writing like display of flex justify icon will be center align items will be center and background color will be crimson and you can choose whichever and which kind of ui you like but this is just a quite simple and easy ui so that's why i'm putting it right here color will be white font family will be sans serif as always you can choose whichever you like so everything is center but not perfectly now let's select for mince uh yeah main not mince and now let's provide a padding to it or uh, five pixel all around not all around but top and bottom and zero from left and right and then text align will be now center save it and this is how it looks like right now so the next thing which we have to do is to select both of these inputs right here so we are going to be just uh, diving into here and inputs not inputs but just input okay and display will be flex instead of inline and also flex direction will be colon so once we save it and this is quite looking cool and then the final thing which you have to do is to select uh inputs which is we have this inputs class so i'm gonna select that so first of all we have inputs and then we have an input inside their inputs so then i'll just give them a border of none and then border radius will be just five pixel and then padding will be just uh one rim from top and bottom and 10 rim from left and right save it and this is how it looks like right now i know it's looking a bit ugly so now let me just remove that outline and then we have to just provide a margin bottom bottom to be 10 pixels save it and this is how it looks like all right getting into it so the next thing which you have to select is this select op okay so you want to select all of them so now we have to just write a pound symbol because we provide id and then select op and then here the margin bottom will be just 10 pixel and then padding will be 10 pixel all around and outline will be none save it and this is how it looks like currently and then the next thing which you have to do is to just finally select our button which is this button right here so we are going to be just writing a pound symbol and button and now here inside this button we are going to be writing border of none the background will be totally transparent save it color will be totally white padding will be top and bottom 10 pixel left and right 20 pixel border will be two pixel all around solid white okay and margin top not bottom will be just 10 pixel 
then cursor will be pointer save it and this is how it looks like <laughs> you can change the ui if you want to but in my case this is looking cool so i'm not going to change anything so if i refresh it it will ask me about number one and number two so if we provide like uh, i don't know 20 maybe and 20 here so if we hit submit so it will now give us 40 because because we are at the plus operator so if we hit the minus and submit it will give us zero if we hit this division and submit it will give us one and finally if we hit this uh, times operator so it will give us 400 right here okay so I guess that was it about this project so if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so that's what i'm going to do right now all right so now let's just let me just show you that very quickly so i'm going to open my terminal and clear everything from the previous project zoom in a bit get status will gives us out 23 so then get add everything and then get commit dash m let's do a commit for that like simple call collator and then hit enter and then now push our code into our github repository now let's refresh our browser and here you can see our simple calculator so if you open that so here you can see we have that app.js code we have index.js and we have uh, index.html <laughs> and then we have style.css file right here okay so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye